What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Count Blogathor, coming back at you again with another episode of Count Blogathor's Metal Music Reviews, Unboxings, and Epic Rants. Now today, this is, this is an unprecedented thing we're, we're doing today because it's an actual metal review. Yeah, I, I bet you're excited for that because I've, I've, been, I've been teasing it for a very long time saying I'd finally do a metal review. Uh, I did a review about a week ago of a metal adjacent album, something uh, like a, a, an album that's related to metal, uh, Mount Eerie album, uh, Raven, uh, the crow, the crow who looked at me, and uh, it's, I mean, it was a side project of Wolves in the Throne Room, but it's a dark folk record, it was a dark folk record, not a metal record, so uh, today, we're gonna be, it, it's, it's, first of all, it took me a very long time to decide on the album that I would be reviewing, because it's a it's a it's a big thing. It's a momentous occasion, a mon monumentous monumentous occasion that that we're doing this today. And this is a uh, there's a whole lot of deliberation went into this, and it's I, I think you're going to be very pleased with my choice. And uh, I'll tell you now, the album that we're reviewing is Mastodon. The what the fuck's it called? The Emperor, the Emperor of the Sand, Mastodon, the Emperor of the Sand. I listened to, I listened to this today, and it is, well, I, I <laughs> let's not get too, uh, too ahead of ourselves here. Well, first of all, I'll give you, I'll give you some background. I'm a, I'm a huge Mastodon fan. I loved um, the last one they put out, the, uh, the Hunter. That's what it was. That was a really good sounding album. It was very, uh, it was very gr grungy. It was, it was, it was heavy, but it wasn't too heavy. So you know, uh, you can maybe listen to it with your girlfriend or something. It's a, uh, it's, it's great stuff. The Hunter. The other stuff I don't quite care for, but uh, that's that that's for that's for maybe a different review. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll have a Count Blogathor Classics Corner. At some point, we'll, we'll go over, we'll do a Levy Effin or a Crack the Sky. Those ones. The classics. The, the classics. I'll, uh, I'll tear them apart for you guys. Anyway, but uh, the new album, The Emperor of the Sand, is uh, their first one since since The Hunter, I guess, which came out, what, like, like six years ago? These, these guys have just been sitting on their asses just... Uh, uh, doing what? Not making metal. How long does it take to make a metal album? A couple weeks, right? Yeah. Anyway. So, uh... This album... I, I, was, I was actually a little bit impressed with. To start off, like, the first song... The first song just gives you a great impression. It's called The Sultan's of... S the Sultan's Curse. And it's, a. Uh, it really gets you in the mood for what you're you're about to listen to, because it starts off with some with some sleigh bells, ring 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 ring, and and you're thinking, oh, what's what's this? Is this some kind of new age shit? But no, it's not, because just immediately it comes in with the heavy crunching riff, that kind of shit, and he's just full of balls to the wall metal. This. Is this is not your dad's metal either? This is this is some speedy, cool stuff. You know the guy. There's the the guy singing, whatever the hell his name is. He sounds like uh he sounds like the dude from Metallica. You know if you're a, if you're a Metallica fan, then you will be pleased with this album. I I I can say that as a huge Metallica fan, this is this really tickled my Metallica bone. If you if you catch my drift, so. Emperor of the Sand. That's a. Well, no, was it was a Sultan's of the Sultan of the Sultan's Curse. That's a that's a sick track. There's a. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have the the track names memorized. I'm not. I'm not staring. I'm not sitting there staring at the CD case while while I'm uh, listening to the music. I have headphones on. And I'm sitting there in my isolation tank, just taking it all in. I don't, I don't need to know the, the names of the songs. I just, uh, I, I just feel the music. So the second song, uh, 
is a really interesting one. It's called, uh, called Show Yourself. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, it's like if Green Day got really sludgy. You know, it's got that, like, a classic Green Day vocal melody. But, uh, it's got really heavy guitars, and it's, it's awesome. It's awesome, guys. Really cool song. Give that a listen. There's, a one thing uh, that I that I noticed about this album is that the vocals uh, they're all clean you don't have a whole lot of uh, screaming on this album it's just a lot of uh, singing like like Metallica guy and that's cool that's cool I guess I can appreciate some clean vocals but when it's just all clean I don't know. I, as a as a metalhead, I just want to hear, I just want to hear the guy give you some, give you some classic yelling. But that's a that's just personal preference. Uh, I know I know Leviathan had a lot more yelling than than what's on here, but uh, bands evolved, I guess. You can't you can't just tell a band what to do. Mastodon. Ah. Uh, yeah, uh, there, what the hell is the song called? Precious, Precious Stones. There we go. That song is an absolute musical tour de force. It's got these these thunderous drums, and they're just furiously drumming. But uh, the, the the problem here that I noticed, especially in this song, but uh, also with everything after it. Is that the bass is too loud? Um, meaning it's audible, and you don't you don't really want to hear bass on a metal album because then it's a, it's competing with the guitar, and as as we all know in metal, when it comes to guitar, there is no competition. So that's one big downside to this album is you can hear the bass. You can tell that there's a guy playing bass on this album. And that's bad. Uh, for for other styles of music, I guess it's okay to hear bass, but uh, here it's it's drowning out the guitar. It's drowning out the vocals. I can't hear what the guy's saying. Uh, you know, only a, a select couple like snatches of, of lyrics because uh, he's not he's not yelling loud enough. Actually, though, I, uh, I do remember hearing this, this one lyric, which is, which is, I know this is a, a progressive metal band, and I, I always knew that they, they had progressive tendencies, but he said, uh, there's, like, he's really passionately saying this, um, I'm gonna kiss this guy! And that's really, it's really cool to see, um, LGBTQ stuff in metal, you know, it's really actually groundbreaking, because a lot, a lot of metal is uh, a little, little bit homophobic. Uh, I hate to say it, but it's true. Um, if you listen to some classic, classic metal albums like uh, "Sniper in the Fag Parade" by Meat Shits, or uh, I, I fucking hate queers by Metal, Metalium, Met Metalium. Uh, all that, all that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's good. I like the headbang to it, but it makes me feel a little bad because I, I don't have anything against the gays. I think gays are fine. I'm not gay myself. Don't, don't get any, don't get any ideas, guys. But uh, I have nothing against the gays. And the fact that Mastodon, I don't know if they're gay or if they're just uh, helping to to normalize it. I think I think it's a good cause, and uh, I gotta I gotta applaud them for it. So good job, Mastodon. You're you're, you're doing great things. Really, really, truly progressive uh, metal. Uh, what are some other songs on here? I'm... Ooh, uh, a storm, storm, storm Baker has a very jazzy breakdown like it's not it's not all just straight metal you got you got a lot of like uh acoustic interludes 
some some world instruments going on cool stuff it's a it's a diverse record it's not all just a uh, hard hard riffage though um it's what i'd prefer you know just uh go back to the basics stop uh stop putting all these fancy fairy stuff in there your uh your little arpeggio no one wants to hear that shit not in a metal album you know go make your uh can make your little classical classical music album or whatever not metal come on mastodon um there's uh word to the word to the wise that one's got a uh it's yeah it's it's got it's got a really good chorus that one it sounds like um I can't quite. Oh, fucking POD! It sounds just like POD. It's like it's a classic POD uh, power chorus on that song, um, and it's a, it's a wonderful chorus. And then there's the, of course, the the Green Day song, which is an exception. But uh, one the thing I did notice on this album, it's a another problem, I'd say. Again, I'm gonna have to complain about the vocals. You can do it better, buddy. Uh, but the guy, he's like singing. He's clean singing. But uh, he's not really singing a melody. These songs aren't catchy. They're not, uh, they're not really snappy. He's just, uh, he's just yelling. He's, he's, he's not yelling. He's, he's just singing just a, just a single tone. That's, a, that's, that's what a lot of the album is. And it's... I'm sure I'm sure some people like that kind of thing, but I don't. I don't personally like it. So that's, uh, yeah, it's just my opinion. Um, I can't end this review without mentioning the final track, which is just absolutely fucking amazing. Like it's, what the hell is it called? It's a uh, Jaguar God. Yeah, that's a it's a cool name. A little bit furry, but uh. I don't mind. Um, yeah, that that one's like it starts off really, really sad and somber. The guy's strumming an acoustic guitar and he's he's singing his heart out. But uh, it picks up really quick, and it starts. You know, you start feeling your head starting to bang, and that's that's cool, right? But then halfway through it just fucking picks up and you're just full force you're doing that and it's uh probably absolutely not not no probably about it it's absolutely the highlight of the album is uh the jaguar god halfway through when it when it gets real head bangy um and then of course it's uh because this is uh progressive metal it, it goes back to the the somber acoustic strumming and uh they, they play a solo over it it's really fucking cool if you're if you're gonna listen to one track off this album, it's gotta be Jaguar God. It's like eight minutes long. That's eight minutes of action-packed metal music. So definitely check out the Jaguar God. Um, the rest of the album, yeah, it's decent. Uh, the bass is way too loud. Um, needs more yelling. I'm gonna give it a strong... I'm gonna give it like a seven. Mastodon, you get a seven. This is no, this is no hunter. This isn't a hunter. It's uh, a little bit worse. But uh, yeah, seven, seven. Uh, maybe actually, I'll have to listen to it a second time. Uh, but seven, seven. I'll give it a seven point three actually, because it it seems like it would it would reward uh, repeat listens. So there you go, Mastodon, uh, Emperor of the. S Emperor of Emperor of uh, Emperor of Sand. That's what it is. I'm gonna give you seven seven point three. So there you go. This has been another episode of Count Blog Thor's Metal Music Reviews, Unboxings, and Epic Rants. And Metalon, Metalon, everybody, Metalon. <laughs>